Hey guys, Chris here with a little tutorial on how to sys prep our machines. After logging in, you know, I'll go ahead and lock this down. And then we'll start from the login. Alright, so after logging into your to our master image, the one we'll be using for deployment, so this should be the one with all the software and programs installed already on it, ready to go. To sys prep all we have to do is go to start start typing in the path towards sysprep which is c uh, colon WAC windows WAC system 32 and then sys so it's sysprep but we're just going to type that in and open up the folder then we're going to go ahead and open up sysprep and then what's going to happen is we're going to have the option to either go into an out of box experience or a system audit mode. System audit mode restarts the computer without being able to make permanent changes. And by that I mean, let's say if you had an extra user profile that you needed installed, I'm sorry, that you needed removed, then what you would do is you'd run in audit mode, reset the machine and then you would go into you know your computer management and then you would just go to your users and then you would just delete the user after audit mode however we have the IT manager admin credentials that we need on there all the time so we don't actually have anything that needs to be deleted off of our um, master image except for the computer specific information itself. So all we have to do is go ahead and run an out of box experience, generalize it. Generalize it means that it's taking this image that was built for this machine and it is just going to take the image and you know do away with all of the computer specific stuff to bring us back to a generic Windows operating system with the software installed. That way it can be deployed on any type of computer and it won't blue screen or give any crazy stuff like that. Now after it does that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys how to capture the master image after it has been sysprepped. Just in case we do need that master image after a while, you never know. Uh, I know that we're giving it to the people we're outsourcing to, but if we ever need to re-image a machine but don't have the time to allocate to uh, sending it back off to them to get re-imaged or anything crazy like that then it we'd probably have to do it ourselves so I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to capture images so this is the restarting after the sysprep and I changed the boot device to one PE and we're gonna boot to CD and in the CD is one PE was supposed to be win PE which was it not uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pause this and see if we can't get it to boot to win PE actually you know what I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that was the system uh, loading back into out of box experience. So that was after this prep. So that was something good to show you guys. That's what all of our, that's what we'll see as soon as we get the computers back is that new out of box experience. Now this is one PE. One PE went ahead and loaded and had it boot to CD. And after it boots to CD and loads this, uh, you'll notice that it loads into X which is our RAM so this is RAM this is going to be all the Windows files loaded into RAM from the CD or flash drive however you're booting now what we're going to do is change this drive to D and why we're changing it to D is because when PE changes the C drive to D drive so that way it unlocks the C drive for us to be able to capture the image now you see I switched it to D and you also see here that it is all the directories that you would normally see in a regular uh, Windows environment under the C drive. 
So we know that it's in D, so what we'll go ahead and do is switch to E, which is where our image X capture executable is located. So we'll go ahead and run image X. I believe if we just run that, it should give us the helps. It does. What we're going to use is the capture feature. And then we're also going to compress it and then verify the image. So what we're going to run is image X dot exe the executable and then we want it to capture D and then what we're gonna do is tell it where we're gonna send it and we want to go ahead and put it on uh, D sorry we don't need quotes there we're gonna want to just I'm just gonna put it on the the, the root D drive and we're just going to call it custom image dot win and then we're going to name it uh, this is for the the description of the file name and then we'll just call this custom image it doesn't matter what you put in here and then what we're going to want to do is compress fast and verify because we don't want a broken image now let's recap over this. So we're running the image X, image X executable to capture the D image. And then we're going to load that WIM image file back onto D. Normally you would put whatever the uh, uh, path is for a flash drive, portable hard drive, you know, whatever network share, anything where you want to store the image for use. I'm just putting it back on the D drive because I don't have anything plugged in and it's just a, a virtual machine so it doesn't really matter what we're doing just showing you how to do it so this is the path to where it's going this is the description so that doesn't really matter as long as it's in quotes uh, we're going to compress it fast so that way we get a good compression ratio and we get it in a timely manner then we're also going to verify it so that way we don't get a broken image and then we'll go ahead and run that. Run that, there we go. And then it's gonna go ahead and take about 20 minutes to do this, so I will resume it as soon as it's back. Alrighty, we're back and it has 100% captured with verification successfully imaged at the root of the D drive. Again, that would be any path that you specify, whether it be a portable hard drive, USB flash drive, or network path. Uh, you see the total time it took, and then it is ready to go. Now, if you go to your D drive, this is one way you can verify. And then if you hit your directory, sorry, my Things are being a little slow. Directory, or er, there we go. Da, 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 you see custom image dot wim right there, which is two, almost two and a half gigs worth of space. All right. Um. I'll, so that is capturing an image. That's this whole video was just a uh, sys prepping. Also capturing the image to deploy, capturing the master image. Um, I'll show you how to apply that image in a separate video. So in case you ever need to re-image a machine, uh, it'll be ready for you. All right, see you then.